point to you. Hey, Bobby. If this is from work. How did they even get to know this number? Well, oh my god, I've been commissioned 250 million naira sitting in my bank account, babe. Mm -hmm. Your big break is officially here. Oh, I beg you, guy. What the world big breaker you talking it about? Is. Come on. How much is how much is our money from that? It's just 10%, 25 million. That is not enough for us to be on the list of billionaires. You see why I married you? Mm. You see with the eyes of an eagle. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe and thanks for coming on this journey with me. Mm. Mm. We'll ride and die together forever. Yeah. We'll ride and die together forever. <laughs> Oh, wait, they just told me that I should come pick up my car tomorrow morning. Wait, wait, this company treats you like a king, babe. Uh, what, what do you think I am, baby? Your baby has a truck full of values. That's what your baby is. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. You make arrogance sound so sexy, mm. that's funny. <laughs> this calls for celebration. I should go get us something. Uh, make sure it's just two percent alcohol or less. Okay. I, I don't want this. I don't want to get into it. Are you, you know what? trying to you know insinuate you know anything? No, no, I'm not insinuating. You know what? Just don't go. No, 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 no one is going to do that. Yes, yes, no yes, one yes. would do that. Come on. They know that I am on my honeymoon, okay? So no one is going to do that. And I made a promise to you that I'm going to spend one week with you. No stop. Yeah, but you're leaving me already. Come on. Hmm? Hey. 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 We're outside. You're outside. What? What do I care? You're watching. And let him see that I love my wife so much. Now tell me you love me. No, you know I do. Tell me you love me. I love you. <laughs> Babe. Okay, come and go. Oh, now you're driving. No, I'm not. You're driving me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe. Have a nice day. Diary Peters. Come in, come in. Okay. What, you mean you don't remember me? National Indigenous Arts Exhibition, Abuja, 2021. Emerald. <laughs> you are? Yes. It's you me. are that crazy lady that almost beat up the, the director of the event. Okay, now you're exaggerating. Please <laughs> sit, sit, sit. Um, thank you. <laughs> sit down. I guess the old man will think otherwise because he was as chill as ice throughout the rest of the show. Well, he got what he deserved. I mean, I get the fact you're trying to give your own people jobs, but at least give it to the ones that know what they're doing. You get me, right? I do, I do. And that is why, as frightened as I was, I 
had to support you a little bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and I never got to say thank you for that support. So this is me saying thank you. No issues, no issues. It was fun while it lasted. Yes, it was. It was really <laughs> fun. Um, I supervise the estate here. Yeah. Hmm. That's nice. Yes. I was not around yesterday, so I sent in my assistant to settle you in. Oh. I hope everything is as you expected. Yes, yes, it, it is. No, 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 I, I forgot. The AC in the master's bedroom is not functioning properly. It's not chilling just like the ones in the other room. Okay. Can I take a look? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> Mr. Darry, it's really good to see you. <laughs> I'm not doubting you, bro. Whatever you did seems pretty easy and simple to be very effective. Well, sometimes easy and simple can be effective. Um, tell me though, how did you go from being an artist to an estate supervisor and a technician? <laughs> well, I am not a technician. And I just try to possess a little knowledge about everything. As for being an artist, it's just a gig I engage in from time to time. Hmm. For me, art is life. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else I would love to do apart from art. <laughs> well, that reminds me. I remember you teach arts to some group of teens at Abuja. How's that going? Um, that was when I paid a short visit to my father's foundation. I've moved past that now. Mm. Dabbled into other things like um, real estate, stuff like that. Wow, well, I see. And bidding, I see. I really can't match your energy. Coming from someone who just fixed my AC. I mean, the air is cooling faster than normal. Uh, so I was right. I guess you were. So have you had anything to eat? There's no cooked food in the house that could fix you something. Noodles and eggs? No, no. I really couldn't stress you like that. I'm fine. Oh, come on. You don't have to be modest. It will take time. And just so you know, my noodles are to die. <laughs> all right, all right, you win. Okay. You win. Well, you that's win. A yes. Of course. <laughs> that's a yes. All right. Quickly fix this one. You make him sound like an angel. He is an angel. He saved me when my whole life was falling apart. I lost my dad, and everything was just going wrong. And he came into my life at the perfect time. Your dad died? Mm. I am so sorry. It's okay, but I'm in a better place now. I've moved past it and I'm married to the most wonderful man in the world. And enjoying some honey in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't wait to make his acquaintance. Sure, you will very soon. We're staying here for six months. Okay. He has this contract he's doing with the state government. He's an architect and a civil engineer. And an amazing husband. <laughs> <laughs> so he is. I know this is water, but it goes to him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Well, this this works for me. I um I have the desire to drink, but I guess God forgot to give me the head to carry it. So <laughs> this is good. Okay. Ah, I think I'm done here. So, none. I will just wash the. Hell paint. no, that's that's not happening. Just leave it that. I'll I'll clear that. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. So I set out to give hospitality, and that I ended up getting one. It's shocking, right? Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad you enjoyed my news as it I told you. wonderful. <laughs> it was just as you said. It was Thank you. 
You're welcome. I'll I'll see you up when you're done. Okay. All right. Babe, you don't have to swallow everything Swanke says hook, line, and sinker. He might be an investment banker, but he gives the worst finance advices ever. Come on, babe. He took me to the mass, and I must say that uh, everything is mind blowing, babe. It's illegal. Illegal. Illegal things are where you find the, mine, the, the gold mine. I will not be involved. Okay? I'm going to be a silent investor. Hey. I know you want to be a billionaire, okay? And I know you will be because I trust you. Your passion, patience, and your vision will get us there, but nothing illegal. You know, you turn me on when you fire that. Uh uh uh, babe, better. Fire yourself down because we are not abandoning this today. Not again. We have to finish this. Hey, are you trying to say that a romantic dinner before our first night was not a perfect idea? Our first night? Yeah, first night as husband and wife. Oh. You know, that's different. I didn't notice. Hey, guess what? What? The estate supervisor is someone I know. How exciting can that be? Really? Yeah. A uh, girl or a guy? A guy. So we worked on this arts exhibition some time ago. It was a seven-day packed arts exhibition. A lot of activities. And it was jam-packed and it was really good. Uh, we were actually on the board that took care of the external team. And we really got along quite well then. And did you keep in touch after the exhibition? No, which is why I was so surprised and ex excited at the same time seeing him here. And he helped fix the AC. Didn't you notice the room is cooler than yesterday? It was in her bedroom. To fix the AC, I, I thought I just mentioned that. Desmond, where are you going to? Is he living? Don't no, no. worry, I'll help you. Babe, hey, come it's on. Fine. I'll help you. I have to take a look I at it. Okay. You're not okay. You see? Don't worry, sit. Let me, let me have a look at it. Babe, hey, how it's did you trip? Where are you looking at where you were going to? Okay, now scold me now, mommy. Huh. Oh, wait, what's with this attitude? We were cool a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago? Okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay, this is not gonna go. Okay. Would, would you just let me? Mm? Because if this bone doesn't go back to its previous location, it will hurt even more. Mm -hmm. So relax. Come in! Hey. Good evening, Mr. Darry. Uh, 
I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No. Okay. Um, earlier this morning, I forgot to give you a copy of our house rules to sign. The oh. manager just asked for it. Oh, okay. I, yes. I'll go through it and sign right now. It's all right. Meet my husband. Please, to make your acquaintance, sir. Your wife has told me lots of beautiful things about you. Maybe you should accord me a sir. Accord the same respect to my wife. So, for example. Can you stop being stubborn? Oh. Are you are you all right, sir? I'm fine, supervisor. He's not, he sprained his ankle. I could help. I don't remember asking for your help, supervisor. Oh, caretaker. Hmm. Um, I'll I'll go through this and um, I'll I'll sign this. Babe, your your feet is not okay. I'll go through this. It's, it's right here. Okay. Here's a pen. Okay, I'll, I'll quickly go through if I sign. Do I have to sign this on the door? Yes, yes. Okay. Just right here. Right here. Okay. I think that's all. Okay. All right. There you go. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Let me do this. Thank you. This one you surprise me. No, you surprise me. The whole point of me having time to ourselves is to actually have time to ourselves and not get a third party get involved in that moment. So when I opened the door and found out it was someone I knew, I should have slammed the door on his face. I didn't say that. Then what are you saying? Because you're getting me confused. Barely 48 hours since we got married. I don't want to fight you. And you think I want to fight? I'm sorry. Hey, baby. Are you just going to stay like that? Huh? Staring at the man, the husband, that you sworn in front of everyone that you're going to love and cherish in madness and insanity? Huh? Hey. And you think that I got married to you to jump out the window when the storm hits? <laughs> no, man. You are stuck with me when this together, okay? I don't want to break that. You're stuck with me, though, okay? So, do you want me to massage your ankle or you want to keep limping around? Oh my 
I got this zombie in every single Oh my god, I saw you yesterday with this pretty lady, but I couldn't stop by because I was in a hurry. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm seeing you again. <laughs> oh god, I've really been praying to meet you again. <sighs> yeah? Yes. No jokes, Desmond. You know, you're one of the few good guys I met back then, and I was really a fool. Um, anyways, what are you doing in Lagos? Work. Yeah, I'm also here for a job. You know, we have this hush hush project by the federal government, so I. This month, I have this project from the state government, and um, it's a huge project, you know, and so I'm around for now. You know, there's this project we have from the federal government. We named it the Project C to control exposition. You know how the public can be. I lost them thoughts. Where were you? Um, just thinking about work, you know. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I can't believe our one week is over. I'll miss you every day. I will be close by. Come in before you go late to your work <laughs> on your first day. Mm. <clears throat> Babe. Yeah. The kitchen sink is clogged again. Oh, you need me to help you with it? No, 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 no. Dario will come fix it. He'll come with a plumber. I think something needs to be fixed because I don't know why it keeps clogging. He seems to be everywhere, isn't he? Babe, I'll advise you stop this right there before this results into what both of us would like. Let's eat, please. You're back home early. That's one. Are you being serious right now? Between both of us, we're supposed to be sulking. Oh, please. I'm going to kill the pregnant ladies today. Oh, my God. What? As I was driving to the site, this pregnant lady came out of nowhere. And my break almost failed. But the cool thing is that I didn't hit her. I was so close. So close that she went into premature labor. So I had to drive her to the hospital and wait till her husband got there. Oh my God. Is, is, is she okay? Yes. 
She's okay. But she lost the baby. Jesus. Jesus. Is, is, is she pressing charges? Fortunately, no. But it turned out that she has been having complications before the other. Thank God, but oh, I'm obviously pain that I what happened at the child, but I'm, I'm just thinking, what if this was a serious case? What if it turned out to be a serious one? I was terrified. I was confused. I was lost. I was... I, I, I have never been involved in a car accident before. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Talk this over here someone. I, look, I understand it. It's okay. It's okay. Baby, it's okay. <laughs> Coming. Hello. I'm Rita. I'm friends with Desmond. Thank you. Um, is he okay? I didn't see him at the site today. You work together? Uh, yes. And whenever so, I stay next door. Oh, I see. So, um, is he okay? Because I was pretty worried he didn't show up at the site. And Desmond is not someone that jokes with responsibility. Oh, I can see you know him pretty well. Um, let's say we grew up together. Almost like it. We're friends right from teenage. Oh, so you lived in Port Harcourt? Still lives. I'm just here for work. I see. Um... <clears throat> well, my husband is not feeling too well, but he'll surely return to work tomorrow. Your husband? Yeah, but he'll definitely return to work tomorrow. Didn't know he was married. He didn't tell you? We've not had time for proper conversation. Um, please, just tell him I checked on him. Sure, I will. All right, bye. Okay. So the underground elevator uh, does not go through the common room. Uh, it opens in the alley, you know, which was the initial plan. But the new changes is going to affect the placement of the elevator. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm on it right now. So uh, I'm going to get back to it and I'll call you. Okay, okay. Sir. All right. Hey, babe, is food ready because I'm drained? Rita was here. Rita? What did she say she wanted? She came to check up on you because you didn't show up at work today. Oh, yes, work. Uh, that's nice. We work together. She's an engineer. And she's our neighbor. Your long-time friend. You never mentioned any of that. Because it's irrelevant. She's not important. But I told you about Dari. Why didn't you mention it? Because Dari. And look how nicely that turned out. To think that I almost killed someone today because I left home hungry. So would you prefer it if I'm being dishonest with you in this marriage? I don't know. I don't know. Okay? I don't know what you prefer. Gosh. Isn't it too early for this drama? Huh? Rita is irrelevant. She's not important. And she doesn't deserve to be a topic of discussion. If she's not relevant, why didn't you mention Jesus it? Christ. Is that simple? I don't even know what's wrong with you. Like, I mean, oh, oh, God. Oh. Damn. It's me, deep heart, and I thought, messing with my thoughts and energy. Everything I did, I did for you. 
You should know I love you every morning. Hope you don't see that I am broken. Yes, I'm a broken man. I woke up every morning trying to hide my flaws. If I'm mean to someone I don't recognize. I'm not a monster, I'm just broken and exhausted. Can't you see? Somebody save me from bad energy. Somebody save me. So we now sleep in separate bedrooms. I'm sorry your work got ruined, but I would not apologize for something I know nothing about. I mean, I'll just go away. I need some space to clear my head, please. Go to hell, Desmond. Go to hell and clear your head from there. You suck old wolf. I love you still, but it's obvious as to need some healing. So would you stay? Take mine, be the one. So would you stay? Take mine and help me. I thought I was safe from this. I thought I was free from this. I'm a prisoner of my past. Of my past. I thought I could love you still. I thought I could be the one. But it's obvious I still need some healing. So would you stay? Take mine. Be the one. So would you stay, take mines, and help me heal? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody ooh, save me from bad energy. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. Somebody save me from bad energy. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. Somebody save me from bad energy. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. Isn't it too early for this drama? Huh? Rita is irrelevant. She's not important. And she doesn't deserve to be a topic of discussion. I mean, I'll just go away. I need some space to clear my head. No one gave me a heads up that marriage would be stressful. Thanks. We did it for two years. So what is the problem? Why are we acting like two strangers? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, honestly. Did something happen at work today? I got to site today and everything went south. They agree portion of land for the lodges are now perfect for the garden. Meanwhile, 
all the sketches that they were referring to be suitable are the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire world, in all my life, as an architect. And everyone in this architectural world knows that natural environments are hindrances. And the effect can be, can, can, can actually affect uh, 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 the yeah. air, heat, and... Relax. Look, everything will be fine, I promise. They flew you all the way from Abuja to Lagos because they believe in your ability. So relax. These I things know. happen. I don't know. I don't know. It made me feel like a fool today. I look like a fool today. And it's like any time we fight. I mean, I fight you. My day falls apart. Babe, you don't have to go superstitious right now. You don't need that. Just things happen, I told you. Everything will be fine, I promise, okay? You know what we're going to do? We'll go inside while you get a shower, eat, relax, rest. I mean, rest your head. And you start tomorrow on a clearer note. At least you have a clearer head and state of mind. Yeah. Thank you. So, let's go. Come okay. on. Uh, you should be a lady and take your husband's bath. Ow. You got me right there. Okay. Gladly. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Thank you, and I'll try not to clog it again. You're How about lunch? Look, no matter what you say, I must treat you to my delicious rice and sauce. It's very, very nice. You can't say no to that. It's my way of showing gratitude. Emerald, why can't I shake off this feeling that you are being extra nice over mm -hmm. what's in the past? Well, you're, you're correct. I, um, a bit of me still feels this guilt that what I initiated made the organizers seize everyone's balance. Mm. But just so you know, young man, I am extremely extra nice. It's in my nature <laughs> to be that way. You're right. You're right. You took up that fight, even though it wasn't yours in the first place. Mm -hmm. It had to take someone extra nice to do that. You're correct. So, yes to my rice and sauce. Uh, you you can't said... say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have a choice. No, you don't. Okay. Um, I think I just wait for you. All right. I'll give me a shot. You were right. It tasted incredible. I told you. I told you. Uh, mm, 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 mm. No, 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 no. You're not doing that, mister. You're my guest, so it's my treat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Hey, babe. Welcome home. Daddy here helped me fix the clock sink. I hope 
daddy won't put you in any kind of trouble. Not at all. How? Am I a baby? I... No, well, yes. Technically, you are your husband's baby, so it is okay if he's a little overprotective. What's going on here? Is this man protecting men? <laughs> I think I have to take my leave now. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll see you. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you once again. Thank you for the meal. Bye. Bye. You know, jealousy looks ridiculous on you. Thank you. Any more insult? Are you trying to pick up a fight? Please, listen to me. Just let me be, okay? Or better still, maybe you can go backstairs and clog the sink some more so your jobless friend could come help you fix it. Look, I would know the part of whatever madness it is you're dealing with. Deal with it! I won't be dragged into it! Madness, you are the one that are going through madness. You're talking about madness. You are going to... Ah! Come, come. Are you okay? Get away from me! And she's our neighbor, your long time friend. friend. You never, never mentioned any of that. Because it's irrelevant. She's not important. You know, jealousy looks ridiculous on you. Get away from me! I swear. A peace is impossible to have. I don't think so. I think if we both honestly want peace, we can make it work. It's going to take a lot of time, but if one is really serious about it and put in the work, it will work. Yes. That's smart. And you are one affectionate lover.
Hi, Desmond. Good morning. You don't look good. I don't feel good at all. Uh, I guess work is getting tougher, huh? Not that. You know, work doesn't get tough for me. It's just that I didn't treat malaria when I should have, so it hit pretty hard. Uh, well, I guess some things never changed. <laughs> you never rest until your body forces you to. You are wrong. A lot has changed, though. Mm -hmm. It's just that, you know, I don't even get so excited to finish a project before I breathe. And here you are. This is different. Um, the week preceding this I came here was very busy for me. Wow, I see. That's the exact week that I got married, you know. <laughs> I didn't get to say congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So? I've called the chief engineer, but can you do me a favor? Just help me check everything is going fine, please. Don't worry. I will tell him how terrible you are. No, don't make it sound that bad. <laughs> it's not that horrible. Well, I will tell him how horrible you are. Because I won't be lying. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, don't worry. I'll do it. Have a great day. All right, thank you. Yeah, bye. Tell me you've been bent on this thing the whole day. Huh? Come on. I brought you on this vacation to relax. Okay? On a six month vacation. Well, I work. How did your day go today? Hmm. Baby. This is not the mood I left you with. So now you are going to tell me what is bothering you. So now, spill. What's wrong? That lady, Rita, you said she... she's nothing to worry about. Yes, I said it. That she's nothing to worry about. But why are you raising this up now? I saw both of you this morning. Are you spying on me now? Wait, why would you say a thing like that? The intention was to watch my darling husband leave for work, just like every other happy wife would. Okay. All right. Fine. So she was sick, and then she came to me today so I can help. Talk to a boss. That's all. Is she your ex-girlfriend? This is some kind of interview or something. Just answer the damn question, Desmond. Is Rita your ex-girlfriend? Now I know that you're crazy. Excuse oh, you? Christ! Jesus Christ! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, can I? You're a witch! That's what you are! You are a fucking witch! That any time we have a fight, like, something bad happens to me. Are you calling me a witch? I'm not calling you a witch. I'm asking if you're one. You're mad. You're a madman. You, you, you are mad. Stupid man. No, you, you, you are You are mad. You are mad. You are a witch.
It's me departing, I thought, messing with my thoughts and energy. Everything I did, I had it for. You should know I love you every morning. Hope you don't see that I am broken. Yes, I'm a broken man. I woke up every morning trying to hide my flaws. If I mean to someone I don't recognize, I'm not a monster, I'm just broken and exhausted. Can't you see? I'm coming there straight away. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Yes. So what? What happened? How did he happen? Sudden, and we just abandoned it. Do you think this has got anything to do with what you accused me of yesterday no. about being a witch? No, I, I, I don't know if it has got something to do with it about yesterday. See, you know what? I don't know what's going on, actually. 
have you given this a thought and you might just be the person trying to connect unrelated incidents together. It might just be in your head. Not when it happens repeatedly. Like every single time we fight. Like every damn time. You know, and when we are okay, it's like I am on a winning streak. Like everything moves smoothly for me. I still can't make sense out of what you're saying. It doesn't make sense to me. But one thing I can assure you, babe, is I am not a witch. I know. I know that you're not a witch. I was just angry. And I'm really sorry. So do you want to go upstairs and take a shower? Relax? No, no. I was just... Uh... I'll just stay here. Relax and... Uh... Watch something. Just go on the mind. What did you do? Well, I decided to help you out today. Sit there. Wait. You cooked? Yes, me. I cooked. Well, it's just pop and um, fried plantain. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> wait. Babe, um, so I want you to relax, okay? I am not about to upset your taste bud. <laughs> and don't forget that this. There's a top that count. Okay. okay. So can I dig in now? Yes, you can dig in. <laughs> mm. Mm. This doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> really? Thank you. Let's see this one. There you go. <laughs> there. Yeah. This looks a bit watery. I mean, well, we used to get thinking like yours, babe. <laughs> That's because you must have used too much water while mixing the pot. Is it? Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> you know, for some reason, I began to think that the pot was having something against me. <laughs> oh, baby, well, like you said, it's the thoughts that counts, babe. Yeah. I appreciate this. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad? No. Me. <laughs> Not bad is not what I had in mind when I was making this breakfast for my wife. But you did a good job. Honestly, I'm impressed. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. You can see I'm sweating. I was nervous. <laughs> did we just fry plantain? <laughs> Why are you sweating? It's not easy to fry plantain. <laughs> but you did a good job. Babe. I'm glad you like it. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. What are you doing here? Uh, I came to help clean your apartment. And what happened to the cleaners? Well, one called in sick and the other cannot take on the duty alone, so I offered to help. Hmm. Ever so sweet and thoughtful. Come on in. Thank you. So, where would you want me to start? You can start from anywhere you want. Okay. How about the rooms? That's fine. You can go ahead. All right. Oh, 
Are you done with the other rooms? Yes, sir. Uh, if you're busy, I could just go down and... No, 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 I um, actually need to go downstairs to stretch my back. It's killing me. I know, right? Thank you. I could make one for you if you want. Uh, sorry, I couldn't possibly afford you. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Yes. So wait, you're telling me they don't pay you up to 100000 for this supervising job you do here? Mm. You see? You see? <laughs> and it's even more than that. Come on. Happy scrubbing. <laughs> Thank you. Happy beauty. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm fine. The drugs are for my backache. Can I? Yeah, sure. You know, I could teach you some exercises, routines. They could help with the back pain. You know, I used to take a lot of analgesics myself for um, back pain until someone introduced me to some daily routines that has helped mm. yes besides it's not advisable for you to be too dependent on drugs they can be addictive yeah i know and i'm getting used to these i'm beginning to get worried mm. so um, are you interested in the exercise they're not hard i could just teach you some few easy tricks and You'll be left feeling good. <laughs> you make this sound like you're marketing a product. Well, I am marketing the good life. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm, I'm interested. When you're done, you can come show me. I can't wait to see this, your almighty technique to back it. <laughs> All right. So you, you place your hands there. On, my... on the floor. Like this? Yeah, okay. right next to your heel. And then you raise your waist upwards. Okay. Stay there for a couple of seconds. And down. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, this isn't as easy as I thought. Uh, Not at all. It is, it is. You should try it again. Okay, try let's again. try. Alright, up. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, and then down. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but no. I, wow. You, you stay for a couple of seconds. No, no, no. This is this is not easy as I thought. So you've been this will help with my back. Oh, babe. Ah, you're welcome. Am I interrupting anything? No, 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 no nothing shut, shut serious. Up. He was just helping me with some. Shut, shut up. Are you a fitness trainer? I told you with the estate supervisor. Babe, stop with the attitude. Shut up. No, 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 wait, 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 don't you dare. Before you go, I need to ask you one question. How long has this rendezvous been going on between you and my wife? Hey, you need to stop no, shut now. Up. See, I do not care what mystical powers you have. But I am not going to live in fear in my own marriage. You hear me? Now you listen. Listen to me. I don't want to ever see you anywhere close to my wife again. Do you hear me? See, let me tell you. You see that door? Huh? If you smell it, ten. If you see that door, ten. Even if, if it's one inch close to my wife. That's small. Because if I shut up, just ten, and don't get close. 
So. All right. If you dare go close to her again, I swear to God, until we leave here, I will make sure that you will lose your job. Sir, so I just came to. I just. I just. I don't care what you came to do. That's the one. Watch it. Shut up. I don't freaking care what you came to do. See, I don't want you. see, if you smell that door, ten. If you see that door, ten. Eh? If you see my wife, if it's even one inch to more ever in your life. Come close to her, but get out of my house. Get out! Just get out! I swear. This, this is what you want. This, this is what you want. You enjoy it. You're on the floor. On the floor. What the hell? I am giving you some space. I am leaving. You better unpack those bags, okay? Listen to me. I lost my contract because of you. And your little demons destroyed my boss's laptop. Okay? And listen to me. You are going to sit in this house and the of us are going to fix the consequences, understood? Whether you approve it or not, I am leaving this house, Desmond. Try to stop me. <laughs> Looks like I am not communicating my agitation enough. If you dare step out of this house, you are going to see the erratic side of the man that you married. See, this is my boss's laptop. Elvis! All the information here helps in the, in, in the outflow of the contract. And what did you do? You took it up on your shop to mess this up. Why didn't you just allow your demonic powers to affect something else? To mess up something else? And my boss is slapped up. My demonic powers, Desmond. Huh? Your career took a different turn after we met. You bought your first house and got your first international deal. Point of correction. When we both got married, why is it that the bus stop happens to me alone when the both of us have the altercations and then you get angry? But you were involved. I don't understand. Or is it that there is something the one party knows that the other party doesn't? <laughs> Desmond, if you continue like this, you'll end up in a mental home, you and your rantings. Oh, my ranting, Abby. Yes. My ranting, Abby. Where are you now? And I'm Abby. leaving. You can't I stop me. I am here. Okay? Try to stop me. Keep packing. Try to stop me. Just, just keep packing. Keep packing. Madman. Okay. You're running mad. Jesus Christ. I am mad, right? 
Yes. Yes. Desmond. See my mother. Desmond. Okay. See. I'm here. Okay. I will leave Desmond. Whether you approve it or not, I am leaving. I told her I made myself clear enough. If you dare come close to me, don't even try. Desmond! What do you think you're doing? Just go back inside! I'm not going anywhere. I told you I'm leaving. I'm not going you're anywhere. Leaving. You're leaving. If you dare touch me. Then me. Try it. Okay. Try me. This, this one! This one! This is the best thing you always let me go! I swear to God, I'll make sure you pay for this! Put me down! Madman! Put me down! Put me down, this one! You! Let me go! You are not going anywhere! Remember what we say in the water, for better or for worse. That's my oh, shut up!
It's me deep harder than I thought Messing with my thoughts and energy Everything I did, I had it for You should know I love you every morning Hope you don't see that I am broken Yes, I'm a broken man I woke up every morning trying to hide my flaws I thought me into someone I don't recognize I'm not a monster, I'm just broken and exhausted. Can't you see? Done my life. Quit my job. So I can be with you, and this is how you choose to treat me. Come on. Why don't you put your emotions aside? And at least listen to what I want to say. Why do I get sparked when we both get angry? Spank for what, for goodness sake? Spank for what exactly? I don't know. And maybe you don't know too. Maybe. Yes, maybe, Emra. Yes. I literally feel like I'm living in a movie. Like, 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 like a naive witch living in a movie. Where the naive witch blows up everything before realizing that she's that wrong. So I'm a naive witch. Oh, Jesus. You something. See, I don't know what it is. But I am going to find an explanation to all this craziness. Because I made a promise to you. And you made a promise to me. That we are going to do this for life. Please, eat this food and then we love. And I'm sorry that I locked you up in here. I just couldn't let you go. I haven't been able to do that ever since I set my eyes on you. And I'm not going to do that now, in spite of everything that is going on between us. I love you. Eat, please. I was, I was hoping if we could shift the date, ma. Who do you think you are to think you can effect such big change? It is because I think your work is brilliant. There are better architects and engineers who are less clumsy. I take responsibilities for the recklessness, ma. You are taking responsibility for more than that. That's true. Because neither me nor my company will spend a little more than we plan to in this whole affair. That means whatever extra charges this stupidity of yours accrues will be taken care of by you. And as you reflect on this, let me quickly add that I have one single software in my company that costs me roughly 2.3 million naira to acquire. Hello, ma, 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 I've got...
what I'm about to say to you might sound a little strange. Okay. See, anytime my wife and I quarrel, I mean, when we both get angry at each other, I get punished. I don't understand. That do I understand what's going on? Can you be a little less cryptic? Okay. If my wife and I quarrel this minute, the next minute I am faced with misfortune. I mean, I, I would either hit my head on my way out, or spring my ankle, or my break will almost fail to think that I almost killed an innocent pregnant woman recently. Yes, bad stuff keeps happening to me. Just me. <clears throat> this does really sound strange. Yeah. Um, have you discussed it with your wife? Yes, I did. And she claims she has no idea what I'm talking about. And you don't believe her? I want to. She's my wife. I want to trust her. Oh. Buddy, I think you know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, I have no idea. See, that is why I need your help. Okay, I, I, I need to talk to someone. You know, I need someone to help me, like, figure out something, you know, find someone who can, you know, figure out this clue or something, like, speak to someone. Be the one. Mm -hmm. So won't you stay, take my hands and help me. I thought I was safe from this, I thought I was free from this. I'm a prisoner of my past I thought I could love you still I thought I could be the one But it's obvious I still need some healing So would you stay Take my hands Be the one So would you stay Take my hands And help me for locking you in here. I guess you are being hungry. I could make dinner for you. Or oh, better still, I could drive out and get you some food. I know what you want, so maybe I'll rather get that for you. Hey. Why? Am I too pretty? You don't look anything spiritual. I should probably dress like a monk. Have my hair shaved. Is that what you think? See, I, 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 I don't know what my friend told you there, but uh, I don't want to waste your time, nor you waste my time either. I 
I can feel energy around you. Your wife. She is vibrating fearlessly. And you are born too. You can't even protect yourself from your vibration, let alone I am an energy healer. I help people to fix their energy. And you, my boy, you're vibing too low. I don't understand what you mean by your boy. Number of years one spent on earth is irrelevant in true dimension. I'm older than you because Energy is so young and stupid. Letting vibration from outside for shadow it. See, first of all, yeah, I'm not gonna get angry because I am the one that needs your help here. Yeah? I said, pretty much all. Regardless of everything, it looks like you know what you're talking about. But I do. You are the one who is confused. Which is why you are painting, finding answers. Uh, how can you help? How can you? By cleansing, cleansing the, the energy, energy around, around this house. house. We will we start, start by, by smogging, smogging this entire, entire place. place. I will, I give, will you give you a smudge bundle, bundle which, which includes, includes a mental bowl, matches, matches, tobacco, tobacco and an eagle, eagle feather, feather, and, and try cedar. cedar. The first and important step is to set your intention on riding your space from negative energies and vibes. Light up your candle and use the feather to fan out the fire. 
Next, Next. smudge your, your head, head for good, good thoughts. thoughts. You, you do, do this by, by copying a handful of, of the smoke, smoke and rubbing it on your head. head. Then, then smudge your, your eyes, eyes to see only the good in everything. everything. Next, Next, your, your mouth. mouth. So, so you speak, you speak only words, words of, of kindness. kindness. Then, then you, you can smudge the, the rest of the house, house by gently fanning the feather over the smoke. smoke. Make, Make sure, sure it gets, gets to all parts part of the house. house. So allow, allow the smoke to cleanse everything, everything that, that it touches. touches. Don't forget, Don't forget positive, positive thoughts, thoughts gratitude, gratitude, and open spirit are what, what you need to convert, to convert the energy in your space to positive energy. No, no. The, the action, action is, is to help, help you review the particular, particular emotion, emotion blocking, blocking your, your chakras. chakras. Only, Only then, then can you handle, handle the negative, negative energies, energies you and your, your wife, wife create during, during arguments, arguments. So, so it doesn't, doesn't hurt, hurt you, you anymore. anymore.
what did you see? I I saw myself doing the business. I will not do it another. You don't trust your wife. I trust her. You want to trust her? But! There is an unhealed trauma. Has kept you. On the edge. What a sick. Uh, just so we're clear. I invited you here to help me figure out why I cannot have a peaceful quarrel with my wife <laughs> without mysteriously breaking a leg or experiencing any bad luck. And please, if you are not psychoanalyzing me. When a husband and wife are vibrating on a different frequency. It corrupts the energy between them. Don't, uh, don't generalize this whole thing, okay? I am the only one going through this in my marriage. Me alone experiencing it, okay? Hmm. Uh, but besides, I have not heard anyone complaining of such weird things. Then your wife must be possessed or have some spiritual power. Uh, then that's a good thing. Because witchcraft is a thing. Uh, so it makes sense. Hmm. And so is vibration. Sometimes what we refer to others using witchcraft and us is our own negative vibration. Bouncing back. I didn't want it to go away. I mean, all those negative uh, vibrations, energy, whatever it is, I want them to go away. Huh. First law. Thermodynamics, energy is neither created nor destroyed. But 
can be transformed. Are you a scientist, dude? Then, then, then if so, that's great. Well, maybe you can uh, give me some scientific solutions uh, to my mystery. Mm. I can give you a crystal. Maybe an Epsom salt to clear the negative vibration. And then collect another one hundred and fifty thousand from you. Mm. Which we are to repeat. Every time you and your wife quarrel and transform the negative emotions into negative vibrations, instead of using it on something positive. What? Uh, what? But, but, there is a very simple solution. A mental exercise. It's what you need. What you go through, hmm. people also go through it. Most are unaware. See, I want to be unaware. Okay? I, I really want to be unaware. I want a normal life, a normal marriage, and, 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 and a normal quarrel with a very normal wife. That's what I want. Hmm. Shame. Because we are all. Energies. Man, can we talk, please? Please. Hmm. I know I've been out some crazy lately. I was right. 
I had a discussion with an energy healer. And then she confirmed that my bad luck is linked to the energy we create any time we fight. Did she also confirm that I'm a witch? No, oh, come on, babe. I know that you're not a witch, okay? I, I was only frustrated because you didn't want to listen. How can I listen when I'm being accused of something I know nothing about? See, I know, okay? And now I will try to understand and not make assumptions. You called me a witch, Desmond. You locked me up in our bedroom. Because I didn't want you to leave me. Okay? Because if you leave me, my life will fall apart. You're my backbone. Okay? And you've been that for years. I can't be your backbone and a having of misfortune at the same time. Make up your mind. Really? Here? Think nothing but a blessing to me. You came into my life and you lit up everything. I'm tired. I miss you. I want you so badly, so badly. It's difficult going to bed without you in my arms. And this vibe between us, this energy between us is, is driving me crazy. It's killing me. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm buried. Please. Let me walk past this. So what will you do about walk? Uh, walk will be fine. Heard from the people fixing the laptop here. Hello, ma. Why are you not in the site? Um, I, I, I have not been able to fix the laptop yet, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. I, I, I will be there shortly, ma. What just happened? She wants to see you back on site. Yes, babe. <laughs> to think that she threatened me on my job, like, babe, looks like this. Looks like this vibration thing is really real. Hey, don't start. I still can't wrap my head around it or figure out what you're saying. It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm down for whatever that makes us happy. You are my pills and portion. Maybe, see, let me go and change with me <laughs> before. Okay, okay. <laughs> let me do close up my E for energy. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Babe. Hey. How did he go? Very great, baby. Very great. And to have you. Yeah, good to have you too. Sit down, sit down, see. So how did it go? Tell me. It was me. great. Super great, okay? My boss was pleased. 
and my laptop was fixed, oh. so I'm picking up tomorrow. Oh, that's that's a huge relief. Yes, baby. You know, I realized that any time that uh, we fight, I mean, like our vibe messes up, my life falls apart. So I want us to be in a good place. So I made a promise to myself that uh, I'm going to do right uh, with all my heart. So I... Hey. This, this from you. Really? <laughs> Let's see. You know you shouldn't have. No, I just I Okay. Oh wow, babe. Do you like it? This is beautiful. It's stunning. You were stunning. I love it. Thank you so much. You shouldn't have, you know that, right? I want you to. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. So what do you want first? Food or shark? Oh, food or shark. Mm -hmm. Okay, I select food. And then on the food, maybe I have some other options. So um, I select A. I want you know, food. Oh, so it has been nothing. Okay. And <laughs> what else do you want? Apart from my food. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. So <sighs> yeah. Bring your hand. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god. This is beautiful, babe. This is beautiful. But why do you do this and just give it away? For peanuts. Okay, see, this is what we're gonna do. Why don't we re strategize? I mean, like, we get a PR team, we do some marketing, and then we strategize your income plan. Hey, but I told you, I'm, I'll lose interest in this the moment it becomes something I'm making money off. Then what is it? Um, let's just say it's, um, it's something I do to relax myself. Something I just do for relaxation. I have a career, I remember. Ah, uh, yes. Look, I want you to remember, whenever you look at this, I want you to know that I chose you over everything and no regrets. I chose you for me too. There's no regrets. No, no, no. See, <laughs> oh, wait. I was, I was just, I was just no, no, wait, wait, wait. Come help me with my back exercise downstairs. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Be useful. Yes, I will. Be I'm useful. waiting. <laughs> <clears throat> Why? I said, give me the password to your phone. No. I'm not going to ask again. I said, give me the password to your phone. It's your birthday. Why is it that you 
to leave messages between you and that auction. Why would Dari text you to ask you if you're okay? That's one. So this is the reason why you wanted to shout off the roof and bring down the house? I will bring this house down! Okay? If you don't start explaining to me why a man would text my wife to ask her if she's okay. Go to hell. I'm not doing this with you. Not today. Hey, don't you dare walk out of me. Now you will start talking, woman. You better start talking. I am not talking. I'm not saying anything to you until you're ready to talk and dialogue like a sane person and not shouting like oh, a madman. Oh, oh, so, so now I am insane. Huh? Yes, you're so acting like no, no. Now I'm insane. You, you, you make that guy, that, 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 that thing, Dari or whatever his name is, text you to ask you if you're okay. If you are, to text. Jeez. For real? For real? Never heard you're testing my patience. You are testing my patient. You better start talking now. I'm not saying anything to you. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything, right? Okay. Okay. I'm not saying anything. Yeah. Okay. Don't get on. I want to see your limits. Do you want to see my limits? Yes. <laughs> ah, you want to see my limits. You want to see my limit. You want to see my limit, right? You want to see my limit, right? You see it. Okay. Oh! I thought Honey helped you figure out things. Well, she mentioned some things about vibration and energy and other bullshit, but I don't understand why I am the only one feeling the impact. Hmm? Why is my wife not feeling what we created together? Buddy. I wish I have answers to your questions. Just that, Connie helped me figure my vibrations out. She taught me how I was the one creating chores for myself, how I was the one letting the negative energy, the negative people into my life. So I think you should listen to her. You know, there's this, there's this part of me that can't shake off the possibility of this minute more. We all introduced to a world where we believe in sorcerers, demons, witches, heaven and hell. But I think there's more to it. And to figure out that, you have to reframe your perspective. You have to start saying things like from the inside. That way you can reconnect to your energy and transform what is to be transformed. Impressive. You have changed a lot. That is what I've been trying to show you. This month, I know I really hurt you. I was a terrible girlfriend. Well, what another bridge. <clears throat> I am really sorry for everything I made you go through in the past. I'm sorry. It's a long time ago, and trust me, I, I moved past it. Are you sure? Because honey made me realize that the emotions, I mean the one I made you experience, doesn't go away that easily. Oh, come on. I, trust me, I'm not holding on to any emotions or anything. Trust me, all right? It's all good. And uh, just drop it. OK, that's fine. Um, are you coming to inside today? Yes, I'll be there in a bit. Uh, I just need to freshen up. and. Uh, 
Anyway, thanks. You're welcome. Right. So, um, I'll see you at the side. Sure, sure. I wish you success in your marriage. I'm sorry. What exactly are you suspecting me for, Desmond? That I'm cheating on you with Dari? I don't know, babe. I trust you. Okay? You are not the problem. Then what is the problem? What is it? Because you fluctuate so fast, I can't even keep up anymore. What is the problem? You're right. Peter was my ex. What? I was at first. I mean, we were each other's first. <sighs> One day, I walked in on her with my cousin. I forgave her because I love her so much. And I felt responsible for her cheating on me with my cousin. Because I encouraged a relationship with him. She didn't want to be with me anymore. She wanted to be with him. And she is the reason I left Potakot to Abuja. And she's the reason why I have serious trust issues. Oh, babe, you know I would never do you like that. Never. <laughs> I would know that you have never treat me like that. But like I said, I am the one who messed up, babe. No, babe, you're not. You're not. I wasn't fair to you either. I should have been more careful instead of putting you in, in the situation that triggers the memory. Babe. Babe, I just want this memory gone. For good, forever. You will lead for work. That doesn't even matter. I'm fucked. 
if I don't resolve this with you. So, what now? So last time you mentioned something about healing from a past experience. True. Any form of unresolved issue can throw off your chakras and mess your energy. Someone I loved and trusted betrayed me. And now you are seeing everyone you love and trust through the lens of this betrayal. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to let it go and trust again. Was it a sensual relationship? All sexual relationships leave debris particularly within people who do not practice any type of cleansing. How, how do I practice cleansing? I can teach you a few tricks and charge you exorbitant fee. But you rather leave all the work for me? Awareness is a gift. Seeing your energy and vibration playing a vital role in what is happening in your entire world places you in the mind of the Creator. See, I don't want to be in the mind of the Creator. I want it to be normal. When you have intimate relationship with someone, the two energies merge. If, let's say, you are vibing high and your partner tends to vibe low, they are probably sucking your energy through sex because they need it no, no, no. to make up for what you think you lost. No, no, I am not sulking my wife's energy. Like I said, the person you share your body with plays a huge part in how your energy is being affected. The more you interact intimately with your wife, the deeper the connection and the more her aura is intertwined with yours. In a plain and English, things will always get shitty for you whenever you both fight. After I broke up with your cousin, I felt like committing suicide. Not because he dumped me, but because I realized I was a fool. See, Rita, I went through an emotional roller coaster. It was crazy, it was bittersweet, it was vengeful, and I wish that you went through all the things that you made me suffer. But a part of me couldn't stop loving you because I told her you were my soulmate. And... <laughs> and I invested all of me in what we shared. I'm really 
this life. It's okay. You know, I think you leaving me helped me because I met my wife. And I realized that I was all wrong. Because you and I were never meant to be together. And that I was the only one seeing what wasn't there. You know, my wife gets me in so many ways, and I get it in so many ways too, but our bond is much more tuned and seamless. But see me again. Brought back flashbacks of the pain. <sighs> The love, the unguarded. It brought back everything. Worst of it, I kept lying to myself that what I felt for you was non-existent, and that affected the energy between my wife and I. I'm truly sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I see that you heard. A happy place, and I'm happy for you. But I am not in a happy place. You know, the flashbacks keeps messing up with my headspace, and I cannot take it anymore. So I need to cut out, cut this tie between you physically and emotionally. Because anytime I see you, anytime I look at you, I, I see my wife through your eyes, and... And I don't want it anymore. <clears throat> this is what I've been dealing with for the past weeks. So I have decided to move to another estate. How about work? Yeah, I can manage that. I mean, I want to be 100% committed to what's happening in my marriage. I understand. I, I understand. She's a lucky woman. No, I am the lucky one. because of my my past experiences but I promise that I let go of that energy because I'm vibing with your vibrations <laughs> you know I love you right I love you I love you more than you love me no no I love you more no I love you more than you love me no, no my love is bigger no my love is bigger <laughs> <laughs> that's not true I love you more till we die Okay. Tell me that. Insanity and in <laughs> madness. <laughs> Somebody save me. Somebody save me. I 
thought I was safe from this. I thought I was free from this. I'm a prisoner of my past. I thought I could be the one. I thought I could love you still. But it's obvious I still need some heat. So would you stay? Take my hands. Be the So would you stay, take mine, and help me? I thought I was safe from this. I thought I was free from this. I'm a prisoner of my past. I thought I could love you still. I thought I could be the one. But it's obvious I still need some heat. So would you stay, take my 